What's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. Today we're going to try and be real quick. I don't want to get too technical. Um, we're just going to show you how to uh, use a cut sheet of paper instead of a roll for whatever reason, testing or just smaller prints. Because I've seen a handful of people do it a different way. But uh, let's go from left to right instead of right to left. Uh, I've done it both ways and you know sometimes you may get a misalignment uh, and you can still print like that. So what we're, we're going to try and do a misalignment. We're going to try and do it perfect and show you the, the two different uh, uh, things you'll see on the screen. Also don't forget you can leave the roll in. Okay. You can leave the roll in the 17 or the 24 uh, without taking it out and you can still use your cut sheet in there okay so let's go ahead and bring you to the screen and we'll show you how we do it I mean if you do it from right to left uh, maybe we'll do that and just see what the difference is right uh, so let's go ahead and get in front of the screen and go left to right and show you how we do it okay so once it's at load paper, we're going to go to paper setting and we're going to go to cut sheet at the bottom. And now it's telling you to lift up the uh, cover and load the sheet. So let's see if we can get enough lighting in here. I need to really get some lighting in here. Remember this uh, multi sheet. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. I can't look that far over there, uh, but we're going to push that forward. We're going to put our sheet in and you'll see the slot and there are markers here on the right hand side. We're going to put it to the right and put it in as straight as possible. Now keep going in. If you feel a little resistance, don't worry, just keep going. And as soon as you hit the bottom, there's a sensor down there and it's, you'll hear it. I'm going to try and be quiet and you'll see the screen. Do I still have it? Yeah, you'll see the screen hopefully tell you that it's being uh, accepted all right so here we go so I don't know if you heard that or not but it took it in maybe like a couple of millimeters it sucked it in now on the roll we'll do a video on the roll that actually takes in a little bit more so now it's saying uh, we're just going to use general purpose textile uh, the paper type doesn't matter for the Epson brand because the Epson brand is a multi-use. It's for textile and for hard uh, rigid surfaces. So I believe you can just use either one. So we're, we always use textile because it's only one paper. Uh, the size is 11 by 17. I believe it's, it sees the last one you used. And uh, if not, you just go into there. We go in the U.S. We use the NSI. And then we choose our paper. So we have a 11 by 17 in there. And then we're going to click OK. So once I click OK, let me zoom out. And I'm going to click OK. So it's going to load the paper. And it's going to take it in, take it out, take it in. And then it'll set it. OK, so it went in and out. And it set it. And so now it says ready okay so let's try and put it in skewed a little bit and see what happens so let's say we don't want that paper oops we forgot to put in 13 by 19 right do not just grab this and pull it out okay that's the wrong way to do it everything's done on the screen here so we're going to go back into paper settings and because we want to take it out and try and skew it. That's why I'm, I'm showing you this. We're going to go back to our cut sheet. And now you have more options. You can do a media adjust. You can change the paper type. And you can remove it. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. And when I click remove, it should, it should run it through the entire, uh, it should run it through the entire printer all the way out. And I'm doing these for you so you don't have to do them and like be guessing around. So let's remove. And there it goes. It's going to bring it out through the bottom. Okay, and if you can't see, I'm, 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 if you can't see the screen, I want you to see the whole thing. So if you can't see the screen, 
I'll go through each step or whatever it is. We're gonna go back to paper setting. We're gonna go to cut sheet in the very bottom when loaded. So it's telling us to go ahead and load it. So I'm gonna try and load it skewed a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's definitely skewed a lot. All right, so hopefully it doesn't hit the edge over there. So it's still 11 by 17. Click OK. It's definitely skewed. So it's going to see that because it's going to read one edge going in past the sensor before the other one. There it is. Paper skew error. Er error. Error. Paper loaded with skew. Reload paper. Now, if it's not that much of a skew or if you're just doing a nozzle check, you really don't need. But if you're doing like, if it's 11 by 17 and your design is a 10 and a half wide, then you may want to readjust that uh that paper but if it's you're printing something small and you got a lot on the edges of space then you may just be able to continue so if you continue it's just going to load it and it'll say okay we're ready like nothing ever happened but if we eject it'll eject it back out the top so that you can uh put the paper back in there so now i can easily take it out the rollers are not pinched on it I was easily able to pull it out. So we're going to click OK. It's recovering from that mode. Go back to paper setting. Cut sheet. And let's go ahead and put it in. And let's try and skew it just a little bit. I think that skewed a little bit. Let's see what happens. There it is. It's skewed again. It says page uh, skew error. Page loaded with skew reload paper. You can just click, click continue and we'll go ahead and do that. And now it says ready like nothing ever happened. So whether how much is skewed, if it messes up your print, that's your fault. Uh, but if you're just doing uh, nozzle checks or whatever, that really doesn't uh, matter. Uh, it's not going to go off the edges or anything like that. So that is it. Hopefully uh, I didn't make this too long and complicated on how to load a sh cut sheet paper. Now, actually, let me show you how I've seen other people do it. So let's go paper, cut sheet, and uh, remove. All right. Okay, so now we're at load paper. So let's go ahead and put the paper in. We're going to start from right and then go left. Okay, when I put the paper in without going through the screen first, it doesn't give you the beep, right? But you can do it. I mean, so you can push it down and leave it in there and then come over here, setting, uh, paper setting, cut sheet to load a sheet. And then it already saw, the sensor saw the paper in there so it, it went ahead and beeped and then it went to the next screen. So let's go ahead and click OK because we're on the size and the, the paper type is good. And that's ready. The only, the, I guess the benefit of going left to right is you're going through the screen and then as you're putting the paper in there, it'll beep when it's ready. If you go right to left, you don't have that beep. So you're going to have to guess like when it hits the bottom, like when it's ready. Uh, some may, you may squish the paper and wrinkle it at the edge. You may uh, hit a, um, a snag. Sometimes there's um, the plastic in there. It kind of uh, hits the edge of the paper and makes you think that you can't go further down because there is a little, there's a, there is a part in there where the edge of the paper can hit it and you may think you can't go no more, but you can. You know, there's no beep when you go right to left and you're just going to have to know when your paper is in there and, and straight. And then you go to the screen and then it should automatically, you know, detect it. All right, I'm going to try and get this before the battery dies. So let's see, go right to left and let me show you what I mean.
right there. See, there's a part right there where if you catch on it, ah. Okay, that's just sliding into place now. Every time I do it, it gets stuck a little bit. But you saw that first one right there is you'll think, and I'm, I'm, I'm jerking it too hard, but you see where it gets stuck there and it makes you think that that's it. But you'll be able to tell the height and kind of get an idea when you get used to it because it goes in there a pretty good amount. But there is a part where it gets stuck and it may make you think right there that's not all the way uh, that's why going through the screen prompts first because you have to go there anyway to do it might as well just go to the screen and then go to the right side and if you get stuck and you don't hear a beep that means you have to just keep going keep going down anyway uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea again you can leave the roll in you don't have to remove that roll that's already in there all right that's all i have for you on this video uh hopefully it helped out a lot if you liked it uh give it a thumbs up if you did not like the video let me know by giving it a thumbs up subscribe if you can it helps out a lot leave a comment down below if you have one of these if you have trouble loading the paper or if you go right to left or left to right it doesn't make a difference to you let us know Anyway, uh, hope you're having a good day printing. We'll talk to you next time, and until then, peace.